Hi, YouTube. It's me, Angela. So we're here with our weekly energy update, our soul guidance reading for um, this week. And um, the card, I went back to my old format what, that I used to do for um, the, you know, astrology signs on here, which I might start up again, but give me some time. But I just pulled one oracle and then we did a whole Zen tarot spread um, about that topic. So that's kind of fun. Usually the last, um, you know, several months, I've just been pulling from various Oracle decks and finding a journey in them and they connect. But this time I um, used one lead card and then we clarify with an entire Zen tarot spread. And the deck that I'm using for the Oracle is from um, Alana Fairchild's Rumi Oracle. So this is all, all these cards are based on the poetry of Rumi. Um, and then expanding on on certain concepts there and beautiful and the card that I pulled for this reading is called from nothing to everything look at that a big part of our evolution as we grow and learn about our soul a big part of that is in letting go that's a big lesson that we start to learn as we move through our journey and, um, you know, letting go of those older layers of ourselves, you know, our certainties, our definitive opinions, <laughs> which is, you know, it's kind of like, wait, if I'm letting go of all that, I'm letting go of me, of who I am. And yes, that is it. You are letting go of that egoic layer um, that you've developed over time. And in order to grow and evolve your soul, some of that stuff needs to fall away. So from everything, from nothing to everything, this is, um, you know, the in the little um, guidebook, they do an excerpt from a, a Rumi poem. And for this card, it says, oh, my friend, if you are longing to be written on, become a blank page. So if you are, if you're, if your wish is to grow and, evolve and understand things better and let um, new influences come in and guide you you must you know wipe away everything that you know <laughs> and that you've learned to this point you know like in um, buddhism we talk about the beginner's mind always be willing to have a beginner's mind um yes you you start with a beginner's mind you start toying with and learning about you know a certain aspect of your life and grow and then you master it and then something comes along and brings you back to to being a beginner because you must learn the next thing right um so surrender your story because you know the realities that are there to prompt your growth are kind of like waiting for you to become clear to become nothing from nothing to everything i love this concept and we all know it right we know that letting go is a big part <laughs> of evolving and growing and we struggle with it because we're human beings and um how could i let go of what i've learned you know what brought me here i've learned about this about myself and that brought me here well we're being asked to sort of um strip it away in order to let the new come through and um help us move to the next level so i pulled a zen tarot spread here and um if you remember my tree spread, right? It's got three, two rows of uh, um, branches per se. And then that trunk card, which is our pivot card that brings us to the next level. So we're starting off with our starting point card and I pulled exhaustion. Mm. If clinging to all these things, you know, <laughs> and trust and have come to um, utilize as part of your growth uh, on your path, if clinging to those is becoming tiresome and um, there's too much mental activity with keeping it all in line, you know, I, I, I don't know, let's just put an example in there. Um, you know, I long to be creative. I long to learn to play the piano. And I long to be able to create that, but I'm an astronomer or I'm a, <laughs> I'm an accountant or whatever, but that's who I am. And I'm not a pianist, right? This is very basic, but do you know what I mean? It's a matter of 
letting go of that, you know, the shield of that identity of being an accountant and allowing for growth in other areas. This is, you know, not only going to help create balance, but also a lot of soul growth. So when you get to the point of exhaustion, like I can't go any further, I can't go on like this, right? If you're so overburdened with um, those layers that you've accumulated over time, it's time to become that blank page you know, in areas, I'm not saying just let go of all your life and move out and go live, you know, in a meadow somewhere, which is actually kind of one of my dreams. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we start at the point of exhaustion. So if you are one of those who feels you are burned out, and you've um, tried it all, you know, as far as a certain topic goes, or a certain point of growth that you're seeking, then um, let's continue and see what the rest of the guidance is. But Starting point of exhaustion is a pretty good um, indicator that something needs to shift, right? Internally and within your inner being, the energy that um, supports this, you know, releasing some of these layers in order to um, do away with this, uh, you know, exhaustion kind of a feeling. Internally, I pulled the miser. <laughs> this is the old crone who is clinging to everything she has and knows and does and clinging to her riches, you know, right there close to her chest, so much so that she's built a wall around her to keep everything she knows in and not to be able to um, release any of it or let it, any of it go in order to make room for more, right? Even that wall is built up right around up to her heart space she's closed off. Th this goes hand in hand with this exhaustion. I'm tired of the cling, right? I'm, um, I've used all my energy to hang on to what I know and love and have now. And there's no room for growth anymore because I'm, I'm clinging. So that's something that's within you. And then being able to address that and have the willingness, right, to let go of some, to, to, to share part of your experience with others, or to let go of labels that you've placed on yourself up until now that you felt served you to get to where you are. Um, and remember, this is, this is energetic mostly. So, um, you know, it could apply to sort of tangible situations in your life, but mostly it's energetic, right? If you think of the energy that you've accumulated up until now that is, you know, that you are clinging to, <laughs> um, some of that can be loosened up and, and let go of in order to make space for more um, um, growth in your journey of your soul, right? So acknowledging that, okay, I've hit a, I've hit a dead end. I've, I've burned out on some of this and um, it's time to really let go of some things, you know, let go of some of that stuff I'm clinging to then the result on uh, um, the um, combination of that of these two energies in your outer world, in your in your waking world, creates a new connection to source for you. It gives you the realization that source is everything, right? Source is that thing that connects us all. It is within you. It is in the collective. It is part of all of our experience. It is the divine. And if we are going to lead a soul-filled, soul-led life, we must have that connection to source, right? We must acknowledge it. It's your soul, it's your God, it's the heavens, it, it, you know, whatever word and semantics you use, it's that common energy, right? That is at the root of all of us. Um, and that thing that that connects us all, the thing we have in common, that unseen mystical force that is guiding us, right? Um, so that's a, a beautiful outcome as far as these first two cards, just recognizing, okay, I can't go down this path anymore. I've, I've worn out all my, <laughs> all of the trails and um, it's time to shed. It's time to become nothing so that I may become everything. And, and, you know, re-establish and redefine and re, um, you know, acclimate yourself with your own source, right? And so then you can connect and move forward. 
So the key to moving forward in this spread, it is the card that is, you know, rooted at the bottom. It's kind of like the trunk of this tree spread. And that key, the energy to master in order to be able to move forward is trust. That's that unseen force that we're talking about. That is knowing that however empty I become, I will be filled again, right? Empty the vessel in order to, to fill it up again and, and you know, seek and find your growth. But trusting in this process because we can get, um, you know, the fear of not knowing how it's going to turn out or the fear of not knowing what comes next is what holds a lot of us in place. This is asking us to rely on, you know, on, on being fearless fear less, face that fear and know it's turning out for you um, in one way or another. So that's the key to getting us to that next level of understanding as far as the from nothing to everything vibration goes. Um, and that could take a while and we could bounce back and forth between the exhaustion and the trust, right? Because they're, um, they're actually right underneath each other in the spread. And we could we could dip in and into the trust and feel buoyed again, and then also just you know cling, and then it brings us back to that that space of exhaustion. It's it's not just a, a snap to it, get it done. Uh, here we go, we're moving on, but it is something to consider, right? Most of our soul journey requires letting go and trusting. It's kind of the the part of the core of our soul's growth. Let go of that stuff that's that's um over you know um an extra weight and burdening you on your soul your your mind your your spirit and then trust that what's to come now that you've created that space what's to come um even better now we're getting ourselves to that next level of awareness and we've um sort of ascended to that higher perspective even if it's momentary like i said we could slip back and forth but that landing spot that we have on our on our higher level of awareness is abundance. Again, right? Like every soul journey requires us to let go, trust, and and employ gratitude, and be be grateful for the abundance that is already present in our lives. Um, you know, like I said, this isn't outward, tangible energy. This is within you, right? The things that make your life feel rich your connections, your loved ones, your your pets, the fact that you wake up every day without aches and pains, or the fact that you wake up, up every day and have a couple aches and pains, and that helps you realize you're alive, right? It's everything can be um, reformatted or reframed into an abundant mindset, almost everything, right? We move through periods of low, but moving through them and being able to transform into, you know, a, a higher perspective is kind of the goal of soul work. That's kind of the goal. We are going to be faced with trials and tribulations and um, conflict and, you know, difficult space. We're going to be faced with that. How do you respond? Do you respond with, oh, there's so much lack. I don't have what I want. I'm not getting there. Or do we respond with, Oh, I made I made one step closer to my goal today. That's abundance right there, right? So it's a matter of that that perception and how you see it with that trust kind of on board all the time. And then within you, in relation to the, the energy of abundance, the energy within your soul, if you can tap into it, will help to um, you know, create that everything from the nothingness. And that is, I got the possibilities card. So that is taking the time to, instead of seeing like, like, you know, the little field mouse that lives on the bottom of that canyon, that's only looking at the, the grasshopper that it wants to eat next, or the flower that's budding and the blades of grass. And that's its entire world. That's all it sees. It's very limited in um, what is possible. And instead becoming the energy of that eagle and expanding your view and, and rising above it, getting a higher elevated perspective, seeing the entire landscape of, of what's possible instead of just that little blade of grass, right? That is the energy within you. 
that you can sort of start to tap into as it, as you're working on your gratitude and your um, um, attention to the abundance in your life and then see it's so abundant. You know, the way that the life force um, is and presents itself in, in my reality and in my understanding of it, it's vast. There, there are more possibilities than there are impossibilities. Right. Um, and being able to shift that and reframe that point of view opens up so much. It opens up your, um, well, it starts to be able to fill your nothing. You know, it starts to take that blank page that you've created um, after releasing stuff from, from, you know, from your energy and taking that blank, blank page and filling it up, right? What's possible? You know, from the beginner's mind's perspective, it's all possible. And that's where what's what we're trying to reach here. And then um, the combination of those two energies, abundance and possibilities in your external waking, you know, in your day-to-day -day world, it creates a sense of rebirth. It creates this sense of, oh, okay, I was the camel in the beginning. I was stuck. I was, you know, in my sort of 3D, this is what is, and there is no more. <laughs> and I'm tired and I'm lazy. And all I want to do is just lay here and eat and sleep. Um, I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about energetically, right? So I'm not calling you guys lazy. Um, but moving from that into this sort of awakened phase of that lion and kind of going, hey, you know, I'm going to, there's more. <laughs> there's more for me and I'm going to seek it. And then that that um, next phase creates the rebirth and that beginner's mind, the beginner's experience, um, you know, the childlike wonder again. So I love the way this turned out in relation to that energy of from nothing to everything. We, I'm going to pull a couple more. We tend to, um, you know, our ego leads us on a path of achievement okay i i'm you know even if it's just energetically we still have that habit of kind of saying okay this is my goal and when i arrive there i'm done and there's there will be nothing more to learn there will be nothing more to gain i'm done but i gotta get to that goal right well energy and spirit kind of goes what like that you're so you're limiting yourself so much that's so repressive and limiting <laughs> to think that you know now not to downplay goals and achieving them okay that's a huge um accomplishment in our lives right especially if they're big long-term goals great but you don't know it all still you never will you keep learning and evolving you keep growing whether it's something external, you know, something with relationship, something within you that you realize, wow, all the all my life I've been um, moving along with the notion that these things matter, these things, A, B, C, whatever they are for you. And you, we all come to a part in our evolution where we go, oh, wow, those don't matter so much anymore. Now these things matter, <laughs> right? Um, that is for most of us, you know, that is, that's our experience. And the, the art of um, release and letting go and um, creating a space of nothing, um, you know, it's powerful because from there, right, you're planting seeds, you're, you're moving from nothing to everything and um, you're able to continue to evolve your soul. So I pulled two cards for this, you know, sort of cap off this reading. The first one I pulled is conditioning. So that's just what we're talking about. Like release those um, concepts and perceptions and the way you see it, the way you see yourself, release those labels and allow yourself to um, start with a blank slate, right? Um, that's a hard thing to do sometimes as a human being, because, you know, what I am a mother, I am a, an artist, I am, you know, those labels that we put on ourselves, I am impatient, um, whatever those labels are, they're created by you and your environment and your experience. And you allowed them to stick, right? Those labels. Instead, you know, in our work, we're trying to release that and let it go. 
And then we're left. And then look at the next card I pulled. This is the last one, the courage card. Remember this one. We're left with nothing. We're left as a blank slate from nothing to everything. And how could I possibly become, you know, what I want to or move to the next level if I've stripped everything else away? I have no identity left. Just like that little seed that lives in the boulder. Did I pull this card last week? Can't remember. But just like that little seed that's living down in the depths and the dark between these rocks feels like this is how I'll be forever, right? Especially if it's just something that you have stripped away and let go of. Oh my gosh, who am I now? I can't even I can't even um, find a label for, for what I am. I'm going to lose my identity. Well, no, you're not. You're becoming. You're still becoming. You're always becoming and emerging just like that flower that finds its way through the cracks, um, you know, allowing for that process to take place and that, that level of growth for your soul is key. It's important. All right, you guys, that was it. That was, yeah, it was pretty good. I like the way this all turned out. Um, find ways where you can strip away old concepts, old beliefs, perceptions, opinions, certainties that you hold. Um, and find those that have a little crack in them and work on, you know, a possibility of a new way of approaching your life and your growth. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see you next week.